just left Rune, and technically this boat isn't supposed to stop off at I, but our guest house owner has called ahead to get a smaller boat to come pick us up, but no one's showing up. Thankfully, there's some people at the pier making it worth their effort, and they are willing to dock for us, which is nice. <laughs> We almost didn't make it on the island because whoever was supposed to meet us from Green Coconut in a smaller boat didn't. But at least we were able to dock. So we finally made it to I. The weather is shit, but I think that's just a theme for our travel days. It's just like shitty weather whenever we're trying to get from one island to another. But at least our boat stopped off here. There's a number of people that were trying to get to Bandanera. But apparently there's a festival here and that's why there's no boats running. And we saw another couple running through town, but I don't think they're going to get anything because our boat had already taken off. You know, it's a bit of a write-off water-wise just due to the weather. So we're just going to take the opportunity and just explore the nutmeg plantations that are here on the island. It's a good temperature, which is nice. It's not too hot and it's not really raining that badly. seen nutmeg trees over on Hatta and Rune, but I is definitely way more extensive. And what's nice about going for a walk on a day like this is that the rain just really brings out all the depth and the color to the forest. And yeah, we're looking forward to exploring more of it. I don't know where we are at the moment. I think we're just trying to find the way we came in. Today is completely different from yesterday. The sun is out, the water is clear, and everything is looking good. All we have to do is walk out in front of our guest house and get into it. here have been snorkeling. The reefs are comparable to Hatta. They're really nice. They're in good condition. Lots of fish to see. We even saw a shark. Ooh. Other than that, there's lots of trails to go through. There's tons of nutmeg plantations and just really good walks. For us, it's been a nice change, especially from being in villages on Rune and just sitting on beaches on Hatta. It's, it's a good change. Off the boat, now we need an ATM because our budget's coming kind of close. And in Bandanera, there's only one ATM, and we've been told sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I hope it works. We have exactly enough money for the days we need for um, a guest house, but anything extra, we don't have anything. You think there's gonna be money for us? I hope so. <laughs> Fucking better be. <laughs> Go 
got money. We got money. Money, 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 money. We got money. If we didn't get any money out of the ATM, I don't know what we would have done. Just hid in a room for the next couple days. Bandanera is the biggest and most populated island in the archipelago. With an interesting fort left over from the Dutch checkout, a local market, and a few restaurants, it's a good place to hunker down if you're trying to decide what to do. There's Wi-Fi, there's an ATM, and there's some things to keep you busy. There's not too much water-wise in terms of activities, but what we're here to do is climb the Appy Volcano right across from our guest house. And we'll be doing that tomorrow morning bright and early. We've heard mixed reviews on how grueling the climb is, but we've heard it's pretty steep with a lot of scree. The trailhead's not too far, it's just a five minute boat taxi and they pick us up right from our guest house dock. We're starting our day off bright and early in hopes to beat the heat with our friend Anestis that we met on Hatta. We've been at this for like an hour now and it is grueling and humid. So we just made it to the top and holy shit, it's beautiful. You can see Ai, you can see Rune Island, Banda Bazaar, Banda Nira. It's really gorgeous up here. It took us about two hours. We started at 6.30. The climb itself is fairly steep. There's lots of loose rocks though, so it makes it kind of difficult. But I think the thing for us that made it hard was the humidity, it was so hot. Man, getting down has been two to three times as difficult as getting up. Just relentless. You're literally, well I literally was sliding on my butt half the time. It was fucked. You, you just couldn't do anything except go with the rocks. There were so many of them. Just so slippery. It was hard. <laughs> definitely say bring a liter and a half minimum per person the amount that we were sweating up there was insane <laughs> like absolutely <laughs> crazy and even coming down like was really really tough yeah it was like around two hours up an hour up there and then two hours down so yeah definitely bring enough water and yeah we're gonna shower now miss meow's coming to say hello meow 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 Our time in Banda is finally over. It's been an amazing month exploring the many islands, but now our Pelney Ferry is arriving to take us back to Ambon, so we're gonna make our way over to the port. Getting on this time is crazy compared to Ambon. Everyone's pushing, there's just like no concern for anyone. Kids are falling over, boxes are being pushed into people's faces. And it's like, everyone's gonna get on the boat. It's not leaving.
I hope our spot at the back of the boat is there. Just, it's not a bad trip as long as you have somewhere nice to sit down.